Kristen from thedeliciousrevolution.com. And once again this week, I am opening up my share um, from the Community Supported Agriculture Program through Tierra Miguel Farms. Um, if you don't have the Tierra Miguel Farms uh, CSA program information, feel free to uh, check out the blog at thedeliciousrevolution.com. There are links there. There's also an original post on Community Supported Agriculture that has a whole list in the San Diego County of um, organic farmers that offer a community supported agriculture program. And I do apologize, I was frequently saying consumer supported agriculture and it should be community supported agriculture. My blonde roots were showing through there. Um, so let me tell you what is in this box. And also I'll give you a little note here that I got an email from Aaron at Tierra Miguel Farms saying, oh, the boxes are sparse this this week and there's a lot of rain and mud and it was problems harvesting, et cetera, et cetera. So when I opened uh, the box this week, I thought it was gonna be some little twigs in there. Um, so I was very happy to see that this is what they consider sort of a sparse winter box. Um, we got tons of the sweet crunchy carrots and I won't even pretend that I'm gonna get those into a recipe this week uh, because my kids just keep eating them before they go. Um, I did manage to take a little bit of these last week and do some amazing ginger carrot juice. Um, I'll make sure the recipe for that, the ratio of the ginger, kind of want to get it just right unless you really like it spicy with the ginger. Um, but just a nice little bit of ginger with these sweet creamy carrots is, oh, it's creamier than milk, it's delicious. Um, so I'll make sure the recipe for that is there. Um, we also have some miner's lettuce. Now I'm going to use the miner's lettuce and the chard to, and a little bit of the thyme, to make a, a green drink that I like. It's called Time for Greens. And um, I like it because a lot of my green drinks I make sweet. I sweeten them with apples or different kinds of fruit. And this one I actually do savory and I will use a little bit of the fennel in it too. Um, and I just find it as a, a nice change, especially when it's really cold in the morning. I still get my green drink, but it's a nice savory version. Um, we also have a whole lot of nice, fresh, crispy spinach. I gave that a little sampling and it's oh so good, super crispy. Um, we have some great fruits. Now the grapefruit slushies went over really big at our house so to be honest I will probably make grapefruit slushy again. However um, if I save some of the fennel and I don't put all that into my juice I will do some fennel and grapefruit um, salad. I love the shaved fennel and the sectioned out grapefruits over some nice uh, lighter greens like a romaine. And so I'll make sure to put that uh, recipe on the site as well. Um, with the thyme, I told you what I was gonna do with that. With the rosemary, I'm gonna make some raw flax crackers. Um, now a lot of people think with raw food, we're just sitting around eating just this. Um, <laughs> but of course we do have mock breads and mock meats and mock cheeses and mock crackers. One of my favorite um, is golden flax. Uh, crackers made with garlic and rosemary. So delicious. Forget about the Triscuits, you're gonna get addicted to those things. So I'll make sure that there is a recipe for that on thedeliciousrevolution.com as well. Um, now with the avocados, I'll probably let these ripen and I will make uh, guacamole with a couple of them. Uh, but with another one, or maybe two, I will make um, some delicious raw cacao pudding. Now if you haven't tried raw cacao pudding, this is a lot of people's sort of gateway drug into raw raw desserts and later into raw foods um, because it's a delicious way. Instead of whole cream being the base for a uh, typical pudding, which you have to slow cook and make sure that it doesn't scald, you throw a couple of avocados into a high speed blender, like I'm talking about a Vitamix or a Blendtec, a regular blender probably won't cut it, along with some uh, coconut oil and some cacao and a natural sweetener of your choice. Um, I like to, to um, give mine a little extra spice with some cayenne and cinnamon, so it's almost like a Mexican hot chocolate chocolate flavor um, and you whip that up in the Vitamix and it is delicious. It's the most creamy pudding that you ever had. As a matter of fact, I often serve it without even letting people know that it's raw and um, it's my little secret that they get the healthy fats from the avocado instead of the saturated fats from typical pudding which is of course made with whole, uh, whole cream. So that's what I am going to use my community supported agriculture share from Tierra Miguel Farms this week. I'm Joy Houston from the Delicious Revolution and I will see you again next week.